only one who's going to teach in this class. And I remember when he came back the next day, we hurried up and got in our seats next to him. And he was as quiet and as serious as they came. He said, hey, come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No more. Well, we thought that would last a day. It was still the same a week, a month. He was changed. I don't know what his dad did to him, but he sure was a changed young man. I'm saying this. You can be changed. The devil tells you you can't get past people, that you can't get past the situation that makes you what you are, but you can be changed. I don't care who you are. If you're in this place, God can change you. He can rearrange you. You might be the life of the party. Put the lampshade on your head and just go about and be a fool's fool, but God can change your life and cause you to know him and the power of his resurrection. You can be changed. Another man, it didn't even happen in church, but he one day went to a racetrack, had never gone before. Impulsively, just went there, looked, saw a name he liked, and put the money at the window, and he struck it big. When he walked away from that window, he said, man, where have I been? I've been working all the time, and I made more now than I've made in three weeks in business. And he said, this is better than what I've been doing. He went back again and again and saw that it didn't work out. He lost his business, lost his wife, lost another business, got married again, lost it. And one day as he was walking out of that place, all he had was change left in his pocket. Look back at that racetrack wall, and he began to have tears in his eyes and got angry. And he said, you beat me, you dirty thing, you beat me, you ruined me, you tore me apart. Took the money, threw it at the wall, but he walked away changed. I want to tell you, you can be changed. God's got the power to change me. You, don't you say that you're stuck with who you are, what you are. That's the power of God to change people. You can be changed. You don't have to go on beating your wife. But you can be changed. You don't have to go on committing adultery. You can be changed. You don't have to stay self-centered. You don't have to be the way you are. You can be changed. God's got the power to change you. Everybody wants to get saved. Nobody wants to get changed. If you get saved, God wants to change you. He wants to set you free. Now, when you come to God, trouble's going to be there. And when you begin to...